Hey guys, press the bell icon and never miss a video from Ayola DIY. Hi everyone, I hope you all had a great holiday. Uh, today I'm here back with my creative scrapbook with a January kit. And this time we are working with Lavender collection from Prima Marketing. So I received some beautiful papers and beautiful flowers from the collection. And the first thing which I will do to make my layout is I'm going to select two papers which I will use to construct my entire composition. The second sheet which I took, I'm going to put it right in the center and I'm trying to figure out which side it would look better. And I think it would look better on the check side because it gives more contrast. Before moving further, I decided to apply some stencil. And to apply stencil, I'm gonna be using these new icing paste by Prima Marketing. They are amazingly gorgeous and they're super fun to use and very easy to use. Earlier, in order to apply color to my paste, I used to mix color with it, but uh, I find this way more convenient and I really hope they come out with more colors. So I'm gonna be giving it a shading effect using two pastes and I will be blending them together and you can see the result, it looks beautiful, right? And uh, using these new stencils by Prima, they're fairly new. Uh, they have hit the market like four or five months back only and uh, i'm gonna use these new stencils they are beautifully gorgeous and i'm gonna apply my paste before sticking both the pieces together i'm gonna de-stress it and i'm gonna de-stress it using a de-stress tool and then i'm gonna apply some water so that i can fold the edges properly uh, because this would make paper a little soggy and it would be easy to fold and after that i will be taking my glue you can use any kind of glue and attach it on your paper. Once my paper is stuck, I'm gonna cover it fully with some clear gesso. This would help me in preventing the pattern which is there on the paper and my colors won't bleed through my page. The next step is applying some stamping in a random and in a balanced fashion all around the layout. And for this I'm going to be I'm using black ink from Versamark and then I am just going to apply it all around my page using this particular stamp which is from Prima Marketing and it was part of limited edition kit from my creative scrapbook. I know sometimes for you people my video tutorials are pretty monotonous because I've decided to do voiceovers on top of my videos. So basically the instructions are always same. The main difference is the composition which comes from within and all I can do is help you and guide you people on how to compose things in a balanced fashion. Once this part is done, in order to mute down the effect of black such that it shows but in a very random fashion, I will take some white gesso and using my paintbrush, I will be applying some sprinkles all over my page. This step can take you a little practice. Earlier I used to do this using toothbrush. I used to love that technique but the only problem with that was that there was a lot of white splatters all around on my desk. In one of the videos, Finnebe showed how to do it using a paintbrush and I started using it, uh, using this technique and I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, your paint has to be in a certain consistency with water for this to work properly, which you will get the hang of it eventually. I decided to apply some more stamps which came as a part of this kit and uh, these beautiful leaves, they look absolutely gorgeous all around because my composition is going to be very flowery like the theme is lavender flowers and I'm using the lavender collection so I thought these leaves would make a perfect addition here you'll see that I'm struggling with the composition part again like I always say it's a lot of hit and trial method I always cut these stack of chipboards and I create a platform for my focal point flower and basically it elevates that focal point flower and it gives a lot of area for me to work around it. Here you'll see that I'm using these beautiful die cuts by Fantasy Dies and they have amazing dies guys. You have to check out their website. They ship international. 
Uh, I'm also working as their design team member and this is like they were like the dyes which they have are absolutely gorgeous. Before gluing everything together, I always make sure that I do the composition roughly and then once I'm satisfied with everything, I start sticking them together using my glue gun. I always use a lot of de-stressed pieces around my layout because I feel they, allow, they, uh, they add a lot of definition to my projects and you'll always see behind my pictures, behind my little, little die cut pieces, I raise it using a chipboard platform. The chipboard platform is basically the waste chipboard which I get in packaging. I use uh, usually use a lot of glue gun. I get this question. I get this question asked a lot, asking me which glue to use for flowers and such. I always prefer use glue gun. I mean, the hot glue is a very good solution and it would not even damage your project and you can take it off using heat gun. I do it. I keep on plucking my flowers from my old projects all the time and I recycle those flowers in many, many, many of my projects. The stamp pieces which you see me using, the clock and the butterfly, they are from Finnabar stamps. I have stamped it using my Versamark ink and then I have cut them using my small scissors by Martha Stewart, basically fussy cutting. And uh, I just make sure everything goes well along with each other. There is a lot of hidden trial method, there is a lot of chipboard elevation method which helps me in composing everything in a very 3D fashion. Now let's add some paint to this layout. Uh, I'm using Art Alchemy Paints by Finnever. Uh, the colors which I'll be using, they will be listed down below in the description box. And for the paint, I take my paintbrush and add a lot of water to it. Because I have pre-gessoed it with some clear gesso, the paint won't bleed through the paper. And in case I've made mistakes or in case I want to soften the tone of the color, I can, use, I can do it by adding some water to it or by adding some moistened, uh, moistened tissues to it. I always use a lot of baby wipes and in the end I like to dry gesso everything because it balances out. Dry gesso is a technique when you take some gesso on your paintbrush, on your dabbing paintbrush basically and dab it all across. This basically helps in uh, balancing out the entire uh, composition and it actually helps in muting down anything which stands out uh, very differently in the layout. Uh, now I'm applying some soft gel, uh, sorry 3D gloss gel in order to apply my art stones. I am used to speaking soft gel because uh, that's what I used to use and now I'm over with that bottle so I'm using 3D gloss gel. I'm using large size art stones and I'm filling it up with some mini art stones like the medium sized art stones uh, i really enjoy doing the step because art stones they make my project look so dreamy so beautiful and i love using them you can easily find you can easily find them on scrapbook.com amazon.com ebay and multiple websites which are available uh, have this product in stock uh, this is a must have uh, product in case you are a mixed media artist they were available at Michael's and I got my stock at Michael's. You can make out from the jars, they're small ones. In case you want to buy the big ones, they are at scrabble.com, amazon.com, the cherry on the top and on multiple websites. Just Google it and you'll get there. Once my art stones are done, I feel my project is ready and I'm going to picture it. I'm going to show it to you guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it for you all. 
so please do leave me a big thumbs up and also let me know what videos you would like to see in future my mojo is pretty down and i'm not coming up with any good new ideas i'm really 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 tired of my break so help me out guys here and have a great 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 day bye